Today is Thursday, March 9th, 2023, and we have some breaking Airstream news that we need to cover. Absolutely. There has been a new concept out from Airstream, and it's a collaboration between Airstream and Porsche Design Studio. And as one of the world's foremost experts on Porsches, it's, it's just a subtle point to make that this is not the car people. This is the Porsche Design Studio, which was founded in 1972 by Ferdinand Porsche's grandson, also called Ferdinand Porsche, but his name is Bootsy, is what he actually went and by. And it's actually founded in Zellumsee, correct? Yeah, so these people are the ones that design, like, um, the sunglasses that we all wore in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. They do pens. They've done chairlifts for some people, and they've done washing machines and that sort of thing. You know, all kinds of industrial design is right. what these guys do. Right, and that's what they specialize in. And now they're doing... Airstreams. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at what they've done here. This was just released this morning. And just to be clear, this is a concept and it may or may not ever reach production. Yes, but notice the base camp, Airstream's most popular model, was also a collaboration well, with... it was based on a collaboration with Nissan. And that one actually made it into production. Yeah, so this thing could it too. Could, but, you know, last year they had the concept for the E-Stream and we sort of have not heard about that. So yep. we'll see what happens with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our first image here. Mm -hmm. And you can see it looks like it's being... Uh, Towed by a, a Porsche, right? Porsche Cayenne, yes. Okay. So, um, I mean, the thing is gorgeous. I mean, it's it, it really, is. really... It's, it's aesthetically beautiful, I think. Which is what Porsche does. Right. But you can see here from this picture, too, this was the first one that will show the pop top. Mm -hmm. Because the big thing with this is that it is able to be stored in a garage. Right. Okay? The pop top is to give you additional headspace when you are camping, and the pop top lowers down, and it actually lowers down on its chassis, right? And so that it can make a seven-foot clearance. Yes. Yeah, so th th this trailer will actually, and we'll see a picture of that later on. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder how long it'll take somebody to lower their suspension with their uh, stabilizer still down. And Oops. Then they, <laughs> and they have to post on Airstream forums, uh, I and, bent my stabilizer. And the other thing they've done, it, and to, this is basically to do aerodynamics and probably also to make that clearance as well, is they've removed stuff that's normally on the roof of the Airstream, like the air conditioner and maybe antennas and stuff like that. Yes, and so you don't see any of that stuff. So it makes it really slick design. So um, the air conditioner, actually they said, was inside above the floor. Right. And we, we'll have a picture here. Maybe we can speculate where that would be. Right. And But it would have to s somehow be able to drip, right? Uh, through the floor, Yeah, and, right? and also vent its heat. So right. with designs like this, they leave out stuff like that typically. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the next image here. All right. This is a look at the design of the inside. The inside is really very, very clever because a lot of things are being used multiple ways. So yes. like the rear space itself is being used for dining it can be used for working it can be used for sleeping and also the clever use of the bathroom which opens up the floor space in the shower to the galley so yeah, it makes see, you feel more spacious it looks like that circle right there is a drain probably probably a cover for a drain yes yes and so there's going to be a thing that swirls swings out probably. It, was, it was a swivel door i think is what they said yep. it looks like that door with the um towel bars yep. would swing out Yep. and open up the shower space and the toilet space as well. Yeah, so you've got, looks like a front galley, it looks like an induction cooktop. Yeah, it was a two burner induction, uh, yeah, it was a two burner induction cooktop and a sink that was integrated in that little space right there. And we're speculating that the fridge is in this location. It's in, yes, the location where that, it almost looks like a closet, but I think it's a dual purpose thing. I think it's yep. partially a closet and partially a fridge. Yes, so... Um, so that's just speculation, but I think that's... I believe it's 16 feet long. This 16 is... feet, 4 inches, correct. Yes. So. And the bed is actually a queen, a little larger than a queen size. Yeah, cool. At uh, 81 inches by 62, I believe. And I think the really fun part as we look through this, you'll see that rear seating area. The hatch is awesome. The hatch the opens up in the back and it actually, I think, has a thing that bends so that it can turn into a seating area. Yep, we'll take a look at that well later outside. on. And the pop-up also has an awning that you can attach to it. Yep, and you'll see we've got the uh, dinette there that you can form for eating. Comes down to make a bed mm -hmm. and you can get rid of that all together and just have a seating area. Correct. Pretty cool design, I think. Absolutely. Oh, and the other part about the kitchen is that it does have a workspace extender. Okay. So it extends over on the side in front of the door and turns that into extra counter space, which I think is huge. Yep. You kind of see the windows, too, how... They've tried to incorporate that design into the windows and everything. So they do have some storage above the dinette and around the inside here where 
they've substituted netting for your mm -hmm. traditional drawers and cabinetry. Right. Okay, so here, this is a great image here that shows those seats. And look at the awning comes right out of the pop top like that. Yep. So I bet down. you those arms, did you just attach them like yep. some of the old Probably. vintage ones do? Yep. Yeah, I wonder how soon it's going to take before somebody sits in the back seat there, doesn't put the stabilizer down and the whole trailer goes wonk. <laughs> so um, there's probably a weight limit there or something like that. Yeah. Well, the one thing I do miss about this little unit is that it's not living riveted, is it? No, it's living sheeted aluminum, I guess. So it <laughs> is aluminum though. It's, it's not plastic. I think, I think they were very clear that they wanted this to be an aluminum trailer and not a um, a plastic or, or fiberglass or something right, like that. Right, but it's, it, they decided not to do the rivets for whatever reason. Some people say maybe it was for reducing drag or increasing aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was the Porsche design team who said, you know, maybe I don't like the look of rivets. But I do like the drag theory, though, or the, <laughs> the idea of aerodynamic drag, because you're going to have this super sleek, super drag-free trailer, and then you're going to hook it up to an F-350 with two kayaks and a bike on the top, well, which has, like, the aerodynamic... In, the, in, theory, in theory, it's supposed to be able to be towed behind an electric vehicle. So yes. I think that's what it was. I don't think they for. released the weight. Yeah. No, but there's there's speculation that it would probably weigh less than a base camp. So there's speculation that looks like a propane tank. I would say that definitely looks like a propane tank. And the one next to it, could that be the battery or is that? Yeah, Cindy and I were talking about that. Because it's supposed to come with one lithium battery. Yes. And could that be the air conditioner unit? You know, in it's possible. some type of housing. Because they did say. Um, that that is above the floor. Yeah, but does above the floor mean up above the floor or does it mean on the floor? Right. They also said that below the floor... They have 10 inches of space there. Right, and that's where they put the furnace and the water heater, right? Below and, the floor. And the holding tanks, don't forget. Right. And so I'm speculating the best place for the gray water tank, or it might probably will be a combo, gray, black, I would guess, mm -hmm. will be bef in front of the... Um, will be by the kitchen where right. the shower is. Okay. So that's probably where your black gray water tank is going to be because that's where your toilet and your shower is going to be. So that's the 10 inches of space right there probably. Yep. They don't have rock guards on this, but again, it's a concept. So right. by the time this hits... Yeah, you're going to have um, to have something there to protect your windows in the front and also the side panels. So the question I do have about this is whether any of the windows open. So Because otherwise, all you have is your rear hatch and your front door. Right. So I'm not... Seeing a lot of openability, but yeah, but they yeah. might be able to do something. Maybe, like maybe that. if it's a slide or something. Yeah, when we watched the video here with this particular image, um, Porsche was talking about how they had to change the rear of the trailer for aerodynamic purposes. Right. And so you can kind of see how different that is than the normal Airstream um, trailer. But you know, the whole shape of this is sort of giving me nest vibes a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not too far off of that. It's very yeah, similar. Yeah, it's 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 giving me the nest vibes in the shape. Maybe not. Maybe not with the rear sh chopped off, but it's giving me nest vibes. Yep. And in this particular image, you can see how the suspension has lowered the uh, Airstream down so that it can fit into that garage. Right. Um, I think you also said that there was an ability for it to be lowered even a little bit while it's driving. Perhaps. Yeah, they did say something about that, so I'm not sure, but that could be in play. And here we see it just kind of camp. I, you know, one of the things that it does have, it, you were, we were commenting about how it looks like a European It does look like a European hitch. hitch, yeah. I actually like the wheel on the front jack versus just the jack stand. So um, what, would, what purpose would the wheel on the front serve, do you think? Well, if, if you wanted to move it just a little bit, you know, this, this trailer is light enough. that You if think you, you just, could actually push it? You probably could, yeah. Really? I bet you could. Huh, okay. So. This would be a good uh, product for the... Um, the little transport device. What is it called? The uh, the park park, park at three hundred and sixty. Yeah, yep. yeah. In fact, that yeah, that's a great idea. You know, park at three hundred and sixty. This that would be great for getting this thing into a garage. Because so, a um, garage is not the widest of spaces, and so you don't want to be making a mistake. Maybe we'll talk to the park at three hundred and sixty guys. See if they want to collab with Airstream. Yeah, and get a little model for this one. And then we kind of see the pop top, the yep. roof. Yep. So what is, do you think that X is? Is that just some support? Yeah, that's that's just how, how it's going to scissor out. And that's oh, just the mechanism for raising and raising lowering. Raising and lowering, got yeah, it. Yeah, so the other thing I noticed is I didn't see any roof fans. Good point. You know, no fantastic fans? Yep. So, and I also noticed that the roof... But there like was a, like a, a um, 
if you look at this, we'll go back to this image here, but it looked like there was a uh, sunroof of some sort, right? Well, it looked, it's a skylight. See? Yeah, a skylight. So maybe that opens. I don't know. Maybe it does. But um, the other thing that I noticed about that skylight, though, it takes up a lot of space. And where does the solar go then if you're going to have solar? Right. If you want it on the roof, you can yeah. always do a solar suitcase. Yeah, with with a 16 foot and a single lithium, I think a solar suitcase would be the solution that you would want okay. uh, here with this particular guy. All right, well, there's the first images we've seen of mm -hmm. the new Airstream Porsche collaboration. What's your overall opinion? I think it's going the right direction, actually. Yeah. Um, there are a few things that I had questions on, but you know, I and I I'm sort of hung up on the rivets, but you know. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that. Um, pans out as far as... But it's uh, giving me the Nest vibes a little bit, but I do think from a aerodynamic and from a efficiency standpoint, they have done a great job of putting this together. Yes. And of course, collabing with Porsche, this could be the first 60-foot trailer to go over 100000 bucks. I think, easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that name is going to add some value, I think. But I think hooking this thing up to a Cayenne or a Macan, yeah. or even, well, I don't think 911s have hitches. Lord, I hope not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. But that would be sweet looking, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. A, a so, silver Porsche. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, we'll keep you up to date as the developments occur. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click to subscribe. And comment below if you've seen the new concept, Porsche, Airstream, Collab, and what you think. Because we come out with breaking news as it happens. Thanks for watching.